everyone. This is Faith Howard Mooney, VP of Member Engagement at TMC. And this is our third edition of Inside the TMC Family. Super lucky today to have Kelly Hailstone of FBC Mortgage with me. And we have some really super exciting news today that just came out. And that is that Kelly has been promoted to EVP and CAO of FBC Mortgage. So we're gonna divert a little bit here in the beginning. And Kelly, I would love to hear about your new role and your promotion. Yeah, so in, the, in my new role here, I am still a member of our executive team, still involved in many of the, um, the things operationally and, uh, and otherwise, uh, many committees and things. But I'm really trying to focus on building new joint venture uh, relationships with home builders across the country. We have um, had a lot of success with that in 2020. I think we really stood out as a company because we are only focused on that. And a lot of folks who were working with home builders struggled because they had so many refis in their way, clogging up their pipeline and just didn't make it a priority. And so we're finding uh, a, lot of, a lot of our builder partners reaching out and looking forward to a great year. Fantastic. That is just wonderful news. Um, we're going to digress a little bit now after, after that and kind of go back more to the beginning um, of where you started and talk about kind of how you got to where you got. So what was your first job that you ever had? My first job. Uh, okay. So, I mean, I grew up, both of my grandparents owned businesses. So I grew up, you know, young as I can remember, sweeping floors and cleaning things up and working somehow. So I kind of feel like I always had a job. But the first one that I went out and got myself was uh, for a gentleman, uh, Jim Woodland was his name. And he he worked with, um, he did all kinds of things. But um, the job that he gave me was I was stacking railroad ties and um, moving sprinkler pipe on farms. And he would pick me up in the morning around 3.30 or 4 o'clock and we he would go out there and he'd pay me a dime for every railroad tie that we stacked. And, um, and then he'd pay me, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was ridiculously terrible wage for helping him move sprinkler pipe all day long. <laughs> hardcore, hardcore labor for your first job, for sure. Yeah. That's crazy. When you started your career, your real career, maybe not uh, moving railroad ties, but when you started your career, what's the one thing that you that you wish that you knew when you started that you think about now? So when I started my career, you know, I was young and I, my plan was just to outwork everyone. If, if there was an objective or an SLA or a goal, I was going to crush it, just crush it, you know, cause I was just a kid from Idaho. I didn't, I didn't know anything. So I figured that way, at least, you know, that I get noticed and have opportunity. And, um, and I did, I just put my head down and worked my tail off. I wish though, I knew now, I knew then what I know now, which is, and TMC obviously understands this better than anyone, the, the power of the network, right? So I wish I would have realized, you know, all those folks that I was working with, those contacts I was making, I wish I would have spent more time developing those and staying in touch because um, it really is when you get, when you really start hitting a stride in your career, it really is uh, important that you have um, long uh, working relationships with folks in the industry and even outside the industry um, and uh, spend a lot of time networking opportunities come your way and um, relationships are built that last for your career and and really really it's worthwhile and you have more fun such a great plug for the power of the network um, <laughs> so appreciate that from you um it, it really truly a lot of times it's just all about the people for sure so love that answer um if you weren't in mortgage banking um, or somewhere in the mortgage world, what would you be doing? I, I would be in Idaho uh, as an outfitter. I would whitewater raft uh, and, and fly fish and rock climb. I would be a guide and, and, take, and just be outdoors all day. That's what I 100% would do. I used to do a bunch of that uh, growing up when I was in Idaho. I always thought I would. That's awesome. I get there every now and again, but uh, yeah. this, this industry has been, been great to me. So I have no complaints. Last question. Um, and it's the random one and, it, okay. and it's not one that you may be expecting, but yeah, okay. 
if you had to eat one meal every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Sure. Um, you know, one meal? One it would, meal. It would have to be steak and potatoes. Oh, awesome. You are my kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could throw some broccoli or some, some greens on there, green beans or something if you'd like to, but if I only get a choice to have one, it's got to be steak and Well, I really appreciate your time this morning. Um, you are such a great partner within the network and okay. are always so willing to help everyone. We really appreciate you um, and look forward to talking with you soon. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Kelly.